At least 30 pro-government fighters and dozens of Al-Shabaab militants were killed in Somalia during a year-long offensive against the Al-Qaeda-linked group. An army officer and a clan are asserted. A Somali troop and allied militiamen struggled to root out Al-Shabaab which has been waging an insurgency since 2006. Clashes in Shabelo Forest on Wednesday illustrated the obstacles they face. In central Somalia, the army and the clan-based militias launched a military campaign last year that sees significant swathes of land from the militants but has had mixed results since then. While the government forces have captured several major towns, Al-Shabaab has reclaimed some territory and conducted deadly raids on military bases. Somalia asked the United Nations to hold the planned drawdown of the 3,000 Africa Union peacekeepers due to several significant setbacks on the battlefield. Major Ahmed Noor told the Reuters news agency The Somali forces drove back Al-Shabaab fighters on Wednesday but were surprised by sniper fire. He said that 30 government soldiers and militia men were slain while 55 Al-Shabaab militias were killed. Abdullah Muhammad a local clan head stated 33 pro-government fighters and dozens of Al-Shabaab were slain. Nur went on to say that 10 of his colleagues were injured on Thursday when a helicopter believed to be operated by one of Somalia's foreign backers accidentally bombed them. The latest offensive against Al-Shabaab has concentrated in central Somalia. The government has vowed a second phase that will target the group's strongholds in the country's southern bastions, where analysts believe it will be much more difficult to vanquish them.